Ladies and gentlemen, this is Revolution Ring Announcer R.Y.K. asking you to please welcome my esteemed guest at this time, the one and only A-lister, A-list Alverson. Mr. R.Y.K., same place, same time, first time. It is a pleasure to make your acquaintance. I would shake your hand, but I do not believe you when you say you have been vaccinated. So let's just take our seats and uh, go as it were. Mm -hmm. Very well then. So, Mr. Alverson, uh, obviously things did not work out in your favor during Rise of the Titans. Uh, that is correct, sir. The Rise of the Titan tournament did not conclude in my favor. But I do appreciate a man like yourself risking your livelihood in the interest of exposing truth and integrity. Now, Knowing the people that are involved and how they operate, I don't believe anything will change in the outcome, but I also think that you, sir, have nothing to worry about because that young lady, Batsy, looks like she will perform a job for you with passion and enthusiasm. Well, very well, then. Are you upset about the results at all? No, I'm not upset about the outcome, and let me tell you why. You see, I, for one, have watched that WGP title championship go from white to vanilla to caramel to camel non-filters and I am not the kind of person that is going to be wearing somebody else's dirty garments. Now who do I feel bad for? I feel bad for the WGP and Revolution fans because they are about to go into what has long been declared the biggest card that they are ever going to have in the year and the best match they can put out as their self-proclaimed main event is Jay Briggy versus Big Sweet. Well, now wait a minute, Jay Briggy and Big Sweet are two of the greatest to ever do it and the Hooded Warriors that do commentary, two more of the greatest to ever do it. How can you say something like that? What you just said rings true. If you ask around to all of the followers and users of WGP and Revolution, they will say that those aforementioned names are some of the best that have ever done it, which will tell you with absolute clarity that this game does not attract a high caliber of individual. Well, now that is a rather harsh assessment. It's a rather correct assessment. Let's face it, Jay Briggy and Big Sweet, there's your main event. Now that's a match that ought to pack nine fat asses across 15 seats, huh? And then you got Matt Anarchy, He's not in the main event yet again. He's got to go back to writing fairy tales about himself because nobody wants to play his game. You know what? You want a fun fact? Here's a fun fact about Matt Anarchy, okay? The last time that he was featured in the main event attraction of a show was in March. March. He's talking about 150 days as champion, and for at least 100 of them, he hasn't been the most important thing on screen according to the powers that be. We are knocking on its quarter to July. The man hasn't been on top since March. Hey! Hey, Mr. Messiah, congratulations. You have successfully taken the Holy Grail and turned it into a mid-card title. Now that is revolutionary. Very well. There's also going to be more matches on uh, All Out War coming in July, like the tag team title. That's right. These people can look forward to the tag team titles where you're going to have the only genuine tag team in the system going against that makeshift combination that's, uh, what do they call them, the Paradockers there. You got Augustus Gloop and the V-I-L-O-S-E-R. Think about this. Villain, okay, is about, he's in position to lose his third title match in a row. In a row. We haven't seen a streak of futility like that since the likes of Jim Kelly, my goodness. That, 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 that is correct, sir. I suppose, um, anything else to say to the fans? I mean, we are, we are... A-list Alverson is without question the top guy in both brands. What they decide to do with me is up to anybody's guess. You know what struck me, what tickled me funny, is that there's that guy, uh, who's that, that big bald-headed bearded bastard? Um, um, uh, wade in the water, uh, won't, won't get laid. Bo Jackson, you know who I'm talking okay, about. Okay, Logan Wade, Logan Wade. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he comes out here, and I, I, I couldn't help but think that I resemble 
one of the people that he said he didn't want any part of. A nice artistic deceptive way of saying, I don't want that smoke. Because everybody knows that when A-List Alverson involved, is it's going to be a fun time for everybody except for the one on the other end here. Well, I do appreciate you coming on to the show today. I know you don't normally work in Revolution. Um, yeah, I'm sorry to have to steal all the time here on Breakdown, you know. It's revolution. I don't work here. I don't want to step on uh, Haji and the social distance warrior. I know everybody's clamoring to see that. But I do appreciate you bringing me out here, letting me air a couple of grievances, and uh, looking forward to what happens next. RYK, you are a consummate perfect. Did you just fart? Excuse me? Excuse you is right. What do you think you're trying to do here? I'm trying. I didn't. I, that, that wasn't. My goodness. You are a disgrace. You know that? Well, there you have it, folks. A-list Alverson not looking to make any friends here in Revolution. Back to the gentleman up in the booth. This has been RYK.